Hello everyone, today I want to talk about the new upcoming character Hazel and hopefully help you figure out if he fits your playstyle and team compositions, so ultimately if this character is worth your wishes. And before that, the usual quick disclaimer regarding 4 star characters. No, in my opinion, 4 star characters are never worth risking a decently high 5 star pity. So if you aren't interested in a 5 star character, the safe thing to do is to just skip. So I guess this makes this video more like a review. Anyway, back on track, first I will go over his skill kit and talk about some build ideas and in the later half I'll get into synergies with other characters and team compositions. He is an Animo Catalyst user, but he is also somewhat of a martial artist, so he is the first melee character in that weapon class, meaning his entire skill kit is a bunch of kicks and punches. As always, they conveniently left out some important details, I'm just gonna talk about it and hope it's fine so soon before release. Anyway, let's get going with his normal attacks. He will likely use quite a few normal attacks, but there isn't anything too interesting to see, just a regular attack chain like on any other character. His elemental skill, Heartstopper Strike, on the other hand, is quite complex. You can tap it for some quick Animo damage, but it seems like you really want to use the hold version to deal AoE Animo damage, and you also gain Declension Stacks. They increase the damage, and at 4 Declension Stacks, Hazel gains Conviction, which will further increase the attack and effect area of your next Heartstopper Strike. He also has a passive skill that will let him gain 1 stack of Declension every, st every time he triggers a Swirl reaction. So you likely use your elemental skill and by the time it comes off cooldown you already have gained 4 stacks to activate conviction and deal a lot of extra damage with your second heartstopper strike. For his elemental burst skill he jumps in the air, kicks an opponent and what then happens isn't really a big surprise considering he is an Animo character. He creates a vacuum that puts in enemies and it also has uh, the usual cryo, pyro, hydro or electro infusion part. So if whatever you're hitting with the skill is affected by one of these elements, you will afflict them with a wind master iris. This thing essentially triggers a slightly delayed AoE explosion on the target and the damage type will be of the corresponding element that was infused. So again, it deals cryo, pyro, hydro or electro damage. It is AoE damage on multiple grouped up enemies, so you will deal a lot of cleave damage in a similar way Child does with his Riptide. And it obviously reapplies an element, so you can swirl it off to trigger Hazel's aforementioned passive skill. Speaking of passives, the other ones are 20% decreased stamina cost for sprinting and the second one is after Hazel's elemental skill deals damage, the rest of your party gains 80 elemental mastery. So again, same as Hazel's burst skill, this passive has nice synergy with pyro, hydro, cryo and electro damage to increase their elemental reaction damage. This means, in a way, Hazel plays a similar role to characters like Sucrose or Kazuha, just instead of a support slot, he fills the role of a main DPS in these types of comms. I'm not sure if that works well yet, since his normal attacks likely swirl off elements, which can make it hard to finish reactions with your sub-DPS characters. So you might need a very high application rate support like Jingshou to even make it work. But before we get into detail about team compositions, let's talk about the build first. I think this character is very straightforward. He is just a standard main DPS with his priority stats being attack percentage, crit rate, crit damage, and in his case, obviously, a Nemo damage bonus. I think you don't really need any energy recharge on this character. Elemental mastery can be good, but like his passive skill suggests, you likely want to have the elemental mastery on other characters. I'm just a little skeptical if it actually will work out like this. As for weapon options, any high base attack catalyst with preferably crit rate or crit damage as substat would be great, for example the Witsith. If you don't have it, anything with attack percentage can work as well. As for artifact main stats, it's the usual attack percentage in this slot, an emo damage bonus in this slot, and crit rate or crit damage whichever one balances your stats better in the last slot. For the set, I think he is another 4 piece Viridescent set user. Like I said, you pair him primarily with um, elemental damage like Electro, Pyro, Hydro or Cryo and it's just too much passed up value if you don't play it. 
As for team compositions, again very straightforward, like we already established, I think he wants to be a main DPS in a team composition that triggers a bunch of elemental reactions. So we have Hazor as our main DPS, as our healer we just stick to Bennett for simplicity's sake, and then we are looking at a bunch of different sub DPS characters. And you just pick two of them depending on which elemental reactions you want to go for. For example, you can pick Zhang Ling and Yelan for some vaporized damage, you can pick something like Rosaria instead of Yelan and you have melt damage or you could pick something like Yai and you have Overload. You can shuffle it around differently as well, like this for example, and you have Electro Charged. I think this would likely be the main way to play him, like I said, Elemental Reactions, but you could also experiment in a different direction, for example, like this. If Hazel has decent normal attacks, you can go all out with these two characters who buff his normal attack damage, and you still have some decent um, elemental application rate with Ayato's elemental burst skill to trigger Hazel's passive skill. But like I said, this is something that needs to be tried. This might not work out well in practice. Like I mentioned earlier, I think Hazel teams will be comparable to child teams, good against groups, and he won't heavily outdamage his sub-DPS characters. If you aren't familiar with Child, this damage aspect is also comparable to Raiden and the national team. Hazel will hopefully deal good damage, but he also has some utility in his kit to group up enemies and increase your team's elemental mastery, so he will likely not heavily outdamage a well-built sub-DPS character like Zhang Ling and Jingzhou on top of that. As you remember, when Raiden first released, a lot of people called her bad because the value she provides aside from dealing damage was just left unrecognized for a while. When I look at Hazel, I can totally see some people testing him out and say, well, aside from his elemental skill, he doesn't really do any damage. Alright, we made it to the end. I hope this was somewhat helpful. I prepared a little bit for Hazel in case I get him, so stay tuned for that. Until then, have fun and bye bye.